up guys Chris here for GQ 37 today we're getting rid of this light my windshield washer bug wash fluid uh, is full but yet it thinks it's not so it's a sensor that's bad I'm gonna go ahead and change that all right so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jack up the car here and then I'm going to remove this plastic tray I've already started a little bit I'll take the 10 millimeter bolts out so we can get to the washer fluid underneath all right, so we're on the passenger front side of the car here. I pulled this trim down, a couple 10 millimeter bolts, and that right there is what we need to replace. So we're gonna unplug that, and then we're gonna pull the, uh, real hard, this rubber grommet's kind of keeping it in place, and I'm gonna have a bowl underneath here to, to collect all the washer fluid that's gonna come out of there. And then we'll swap it out with the new, new one and plug it back in. Just to get a look at what we're replacing, here is the, the new part that I got here. Ordered it from Nissan, about 30, 35 bucks. And this is what we're going to be pulling out. This is a little rubber grommet um, that's going to keep it in there. And then this is the little plug that's there. I also zip tied the sensor up out of the way because I knew we were about to get really wet. Alright, so here is the sensor, or uh, what's left of it there. And uh, I did kind of destroy this grommet getting it off, but I didn't care. It's hard to get out. So this replacement is encapsulated with the surrounding, whereas the one I just pulled out is not. And I do think it broke off inside there, so I'm going to fish that out since it should have this on it as well. So I've got to fish out that surrounding real quick, and then I will pop this one back in and we'll top the fluid back off. So my uh, centerpiece this in that encapsulates it had broke off inside of it during my <laughs> uh, disassembling process, so I had to fish that out. That took a minute. Now we're going to go ahead and pop the new one back in. I'm going to see if I can go ahead and put this grommet in, like so. You can see that. So I went ahead and put the grommet in. I'm going to see if I can just slide this up and then get it centered. There we go, like so. That's much easier than trying to put the whole unit in with the ground on there. It just didn't want to slide in there. All right, so there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start putting some fluid in there, making sure it's not leaking. All right, so I topped the fluid back off. We don't have any leaking, it's holding. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the car back together, put this tray up and I'll lower the car, crank it up and see if our light goes away guys just put the bottom tray back on and lowered the car we're gonna see if we can get rid of this light and immediately it is gone now I do have a check engine light for an exhaust uh, sensor that I'm gonna be replacing tomorrow but the light is gone that's been plaguing me for the past week it came on and uh, so I, I had plenty of fluid, so I knew the sensor uh, was out. It's a 2006, so it was definitely time. So anyway, that's how you fix that. It's really quick and easy to get to on the Z. You don't even have to take the wheel off. It's just a matter of jacking it up, pulling off that under tray, and uh, then prying it out of there. The hardest part is getting the old one out, and the new one goes in pretty easily if you do it the way I showed you. So uh, anyway, hopefully this is helpful to somebody out there. I'll see you next time.